Hello, Acron fans, and welcome to this replay cast. This is a replay on hills between Chitin and Vicarin. So starting out looking at Chitin, Chitin is going for CISO, while Vicarin is going to be going for probably CISO, but really have no idea. Could be CISO, could be Grekum. Probably not Vecure, since Vicarin rarely plays Vecure, but probably CISO or Grekum. Anyway, Chitin, like I said, going for CISO, building up his starting 6 RPs as usual, and sending out his special ops to the opponent's base, as usual. Typical scout move. While Vicarin is still paused and deciding. Not sure what's going on here. Okay, he is going for Grekum. But he's being very timid about how he sets up his build. Oh, I see. He's, very, he's trying very hard to get a perfect start. That's what's going on. So getting his opening Faro and opening Sevi, moving his Arcticus as he will be shortly. I'm not sure why he's paused here, though. He's got everything set up. He can go. Anyway, Kitan, however, is definitely building up. He is not paused. He is in fast forward. Getting his importer quickly, getting a factory quickly, and very quickly getting all what he needs to set up to start dealing some damage. So Vikarin has now finally started getting his base up going, getting his progeneration going, and now of course pausing to set up his Octo RPs, while Chitin is building up another RP on QP now, and getting his factory that's still building, another RP being built up, and this is all fairly typical start. Nothing out of the ordinary, Chitin just going fast forward to try to get his start going, and spotting that Vikarin is playing Grekum. So Vikarin, but when he is, he is now building up Octo RP 2 towards the southwest base, the little back, backyard expansion, and 4 in his main, with Arcticus being positioned so that any incoming forces to harass will not actually damage him. And he is also moving his triad forward. So moving his triad into the center of the map, or duo, sorry, his Sepi and Faro moving them into the middle of the map. Though he will, well, not really. Special Ops here will not end up encountering his forces, I don't think. And where Chitin is going, Chitin is passing through his... Special Ops probably wasn't passing through the center. Though we'll see once the green timeout comes along and Vikarin's new tribe position actually gets updated. I don't think the Special Ops was going through there. And it looks like... Actually, has Chitin even committed to that? No, he has. He is. He has committed, but his special ops, of course, is just attacking the resource processors. Is not attacking anything else. So Vikarin is, and I still have to worry about his economy being damaged, but he doesn't have to worry about his main duo being damaged. He is in the center of the map and taking that very quickly, which is unusual. I mean, the center of the map is fairly risky to take, but right now Chitin doesn't know that it's been taken. So the special ops is coming in. It didn't go through the center of the map. It went around the side. And an Octo coming towards the main base. I think Kaiden will be able to spot from here that something is up. If he sees the Octo, but it looks like he might just miss it. Now the Octo sees a special up, so Vikarin is aware of it. And now Kaiden is aware of the Octo. So Kaiden will be aware of the Octo if he looks at it, but I don't think he... No, he doesn't seem to be looking at it very hard. While Vikarin, on the other hand has destroyed the special ops with that Octo coming back, so Chitin actually hasn't jumped back to check this out. We're looking at Vikarin's point of view, at the 244 mark, and Chitin is, uh, sorry, Chitin is up at the 427 mark, believing he's dealing a ton of damage, which he actually isn't. The red time wave is taking away most of that damage, though the ATHC that was sent has not been undone, so it's that could still deal damage, and it apparently still is. Chitin, however, has jumped back, and he is aware now that something is up, that there is something outside of the main base. Not sure if he's caught on what direction it's coming from, though. It looks like he has not... He doesn't appear to be sending any forces to the center of the map to deal with anything there. He seems to be still under the impression that Vikarin is... Well, at least worth... Vikarin has enough in his main base to be worth damaging. Vikarin, however, jumping back, he... Sees the special ops coming in here, but like I said, Chitin has not clued in that the center of the map is being taken by Vikarin quite quickly. So Vikarin, right now, safe. Vikram can take the center of the map as long as he wants. At this point, Chitin has not decided to go attack that yet. Chitin jumping back to the 247 mark to double check the damage on the special ops. Really focusing on the harassment, but not focusing on where this Octo is coming from, which is what's more important right now. And Vikram, in the center of the map, has built up a reef, or will be building up a reef at the 
342 mark. He's jumped back to 247 mark to double check what's going on with the special ops. Special ops scouting around, not even worrying about harassment anymore. He's just scouting around, trying to figure out what's going on. And actually trying to put himself in a position where he's essentially simsidying. But Vikarin has moved his Arcticus to prevent any any clever moves like that where the special ops can get away from the Octo. So the special ops is now done, but is able to scout out the entire main base, seeing that there is no triad there, nothing there to produce any units at all whatsoever. Even though this ATC further in the future, the 520 mark is dealing some damage. See the center of the map, that's where the reef has been built, that's where Vikarin is of course focused and has been for this entire game, and Kitan has not been aware of this. He's building more importers, however, probably to ramp up production. He doesn't have well, he only has the zero reserves right now. He's building up quite a bit. He's actually using his reserves as he gets them, which is good to see, but he doesn't have a lot of factories, and I'm surprised he does not have more factories or macrofabs for the importers he is getting. He probably has a bit too many importers at this point. Now, Vikram building another reef, so he's definitely wrap bubble wrapping this center expansion. And for those who don't know, bubble wrapping is when you build up a bunch of reefs because they have they can heal, they heal quite quickly, so they can just heal each other and heal everything in the areas, and they have enough energy that it basically doesn't run out. It can be a very effective way of Grecum base consolidation, but it's something that takes a little while to set up and of course requires a fair amount of set piece. However, it's not especially long to set up and it's short enough that it's actually a practical strategy in most cases. Now, ATC is coming around here to harass, getting attacked by the Octo with the detection help from the Arcticus. Yeah, this ATC is not going to be able to deal too much damage. And like I said, I'm really surprised that Titan has not decided to attack the center of the map. I don't know if he's just thinking that there's nothing ever in the center of the map anyway, that nothing could just be there, or if he simply doesn't expect that Vikran has gone there of all places. And he's very focused on this main base where there's quite demonstrably nothing. There's a couple RPs and the Arcticus, but nothing else, really. So Kitan has not harassed effectively at this point. He hasn't dealt any meaningful damage, he has not stopped much resource production, and he has not, definitely hasn't done anything to stop any unit production at this point. So now Vikarin is taking the units he has built up, setting up another duo over in his natural expansion, and building a spire in the center of the map, so he's going to be really using up the center of the map here to build a lot of units. Now Kitan has jumped back near the unplayable pass at the 429 mark, moving the ATC around, trying to avoid what's going on, checking out the backyard expansion, and we'll probably figure out at this point that no, nowhere near the main base has Vikran set up. He is not trying to use his main base or any bases around there. I'm not sure if he's going to figure out the center, and it looks like he won't figure out the center, but he will stumble upon it by accident. So Kitan will finally figure out that Vikarin has been consolidating the center, colonizing the center this entire game. And now just finally finding it at the 604 mark, while building up a macrofab and getting attacked by Sepipod at his bottom right corner, while Vikarin, about 8 seconds down from there, setting up his Sepipods and a bunch more base class units. Kitan just now getting machinery as well at the 636 mark, although he has jumped back a bit. Looks like he is jumping back a bit and not changing much of a strategy that I can see right now. He is definitely continuing to attack the center, which is what he should be doing. But it looks like he is not going to be doing too much damage on the whole. Vikran, on the other hand, is harassing the bottom right corner of the map very effectively, and he is... This is going to be very difficult for Kitan to get out of, because Kitan didn't spot out the center of the map, and Vikran setting up a reef right at Kitan's backdoor expan or backyard expansion, which means that this attack is going to be very hard to defeat, seeing as the unit's going to heal up, and Kitan has pretty much nothing to fight off anything with. He has another ATC coming up, but he is only getting machinery right now, so he doesn't have tanks or tornados or any advanced units, so he can't actually deal with this very effectively. He's in a tough spot at this point. So one Faro, well, one Faro has been destroyed by the ATC, but the ATC got killed in the process. Another reef being built up, so the entire center of the map is covered by reefs. And all the damage that was dealt by Kitan has been undone. So at this point, Vikarin is in a clear lead. Kitan has most of his economy getting very heavily damaged, and his unit production is going nowhere. He has a macrofab in the center of the map that's being destroyed quite quickly. I'm not sure why he built a macrofab there of all places, but he is losing that. And the ATC is really not doing much. Like I said, ATCs at this point are not going to do too much. He really needs to get tanks. Possibly get ground units. Well, ground units is a bit too expensive right now. And really, the lack of QP is 
what's hurting him the most. But a tank would be helpful right now. He is getting a frigate. Frigates aren't a bad idea. They are good against heavy pods, but all these ground units here are going to be a problem for that. So if he only attacks the heavy pods, then he could be fine. But the ground units here, especially the Seppies here, are going to be problematic for him once again in the main base. And it looks like he is going to be dealing some damage to the Seppi pod, but the Seppi pod is just leading or trying to lead the frigate into the ground units. It is not successful in doing so, however. Kraken jumping back even further. Vikram, from his point of view, has actually destroyed that frigate. Looks like probably from the help with the help of some of the ground units over here, but that frigate did not last long, surprisingly enough. Ah, two Seppi pods, that's what. So losing one Seppi pod, but destroying a frigate in the process. So really, Kitan has no way out of this. I don't see any way he could have he could get out of this. His ATC is dealing some damage to the back expansions, the main base, and everything around the main base that Vikran had. But Vikran is has already built up enough that it doesn't matter at this point. Building reefs inside of Kitan's base as well, which is a very good idea, means that there's healing inside the base. Giving up this north base attack, however, so Kitan still has the north base ultimately. And where the A15 mark, Red Nightmare playable passed. Neither player has much chrono energy left. Kitan has two orders worth. And there's not much you can do with it. I'm building a Mar tank, but that Mar tank will be almost useless. The Seppi Pods will be able to destroy it before it's able to do any real damage. It's not attacking the ground units. That is quite unfortunate. So this Mar tank is basically a waste of money at this point, which would have been a very useful unit to have if more of the fact that the Seppi Pods are distracting it and causing it to basically to not attack anything. It's it's doing nothing there. Well, the Fire Pods, Fire Pod coming for harassment and yeah. And in case you're wondering, it's because Vikran had the center of the map forever. That's how he got more units than Kitan. He had the center of the map forever, and also base collecting units are fairly cheap. They're LC only, so they don't cost that much money. And as we can see, Kitan's floating a lot. He didn't have as much production as Vikran does. So really, this game, this game is quickly decided. So it's yeah, there's no way out of this for Kitan. But we will see him go out and go out hard. So Vikran, very good job using the center of the map and hiding that expansion there. That was a big part of it. Although kind of a bit surprised he didn't think to go for the center, but that's how it goes. So anyway, hope you enjoyed watching that and have a good night, everybody.